last year about how you wanted to improve in your run defense. Um, where do you feel like that's at now? And how have you worked on that specific aspect of your game? I don't feel like I peeped with it, but it's, it's definitely improved from, so I said, the first year I got here to now. I feel like I took a dramatic step in being able to uh, be a run stopper. What did you do in order to work on those skills? Uh, it was just a lot. It, it was a lot of like physical stuff, as in like being able to put a little more pounds on and, you know, be able to push a little more weight because I feel like I already had the technique. I just needed the, the weight to back it up. Is there anything different maybe from year one in fall camp under Brian Kelly to year two? I mean, what would have been some of the biggest differences you guys have noticed this year? For like me? Yeah, yeah, it's sort of this team. Well, the bigger difference for me is I definitely could go a lot more. Like, if we look back to my first year here for um, fall camp, I, like, first practice, I was probably done, like, dead. And, like, now I can, you know, go practice after practice without – you know, feeling that tiredness that I did for some of my first year. What was your perspective of the scuffle today? That little scuffle during practice, the lone eleven. Well, um, that's something you can't have, but you know, that's just something that do with our chemistry. You know, um, BK addressed it, and we moved past it, and so we see that as a stepping stone as where we at right now and where we need to get to, you know, become a championship program. Do you feel like that was kind of inevitable with the heat, the way it is and stuff? So it's gonna happen. Yeah, it was hot out there. You know, it's, it's hot out there, humid, people not in their right mind. But again, that's just something that we need to use that as a as like a pushing tool to help us get to where we need to. What did sort of Brian say in that? Uh, after that sort of session, you know, you, you know, you told us how it's it's things like that go happen when you that passionate about playing football and that you know you just see that we just need to remember that we always got to respect the brotherhood. Were you involved in it at all? I mean, I was trying to help get people out. You know, I don't really, I, me personally, I don't like to see the fight and all that. I'm not like a fighting type person, so if I can, I try to pull people out. It seems like some of the one-on-one drills with the offensive line, the defensive linemen have been quite aggressive too. I mean, how are y'all like making each other better and you know, how important are those kinds of drills? Well, I feel like the, the <laughs> drills we do going against the all line is very, like a real, a very important thing because you know, it makes a, it's like in the trenches is smash mouth football, you know, it's the best win. So it's like when we go against each other, being able to go head to head with people like um, Will Campbell, John Emery, that just helps iron sharpen iron. What have you seen from this offensive line, like from, what, from when you've competed and who's kind of given you the hardest time? I definitely see a lot of depth and with the depth I see, like it's not, you don't see a huge difference from the ones to the twos and from the twos to the threes. It's like, they all, they all good, but the people, the most trouble I'd be having with is Will Campbell, of course. Why do you say of course? Because he, that's a big dude. And he, he, he got a lot of pounds on him and he lifts a lot. And it just that since he first got here, me and him just been, been going back and forth. And I feel like if you ask him, he'll say the same thing. You, like you said, you saw him come in as a freshman and start right away, but how has he developed over this you know, season in order to be kind of weird? You feel like he's at now going into year two? Going, going against him, I can tell that the game slowed down a lot from him. Like, just from getting my stand, lining up over him, and me listening to him make different calls and all that, like picking up the blitz and all that. And to me, I, I'm really, I catch on to that and I see how good he's progressing. When Will gets his hands locked in on you, what's that like when he's locked on you? <clears throat> it's like, it's like trying to. It's like trying to reach for something, but you know you can't get it, if that makes sense. It's like once, like with me and him, it's whoever lock each other out first, that's the win. And when he locks me out, it's like it's, I have a lot of trouble trying to stay in my gap or trying to keep my feet in place. How is, how is Mason Smith look like uh, look on the field since he's come back from his injury? So Mason Smith, he probably was the most passionate, not – not D line, but like passionate player on the team because I feel I get where I get where he coming from, especially being out for a whole year and being able to return on the field. I can see the um, how passionate he is.
how passionate he is and you know how how good he coming along. Is that passion something that has kind of come as a result of the injury in this new year or was he always that way? I'd say he, he definitely was always that way, you know, making when he made big plays, he show everybody how how like how, how excited he is and all that. But I feel like with the injury it just stacked onto that, like just doubled it. Obviously, it's a tough situation going on right now with Coach Lindsey. Just how have you guys been able to adjust as a defensive line? Just the coaches and staff bringing you guys together. What's the, that been like in that dynamic but with the coaching change the last couple of days? Oh, uh, it's been it's been good because now we got the Jack coach as our D line coach, and you know he talked to us. He told us about how you know how you go come in here and give us our all, and I feel like that's exactly what he's doing right now. Uh, so, Savion, I know there's a gr new group of defense, a lot of defensive ends. We have a lot of experience from last year. What can you tell us about guys like you and Quincy, guys that are on the up and come up? Um, the guys behind me, I feel like this slow, like it's slowly getting pieced together. Like, they don't have it right now, but I feel like as the season move on, it's like, they, it's, like it's all going to start slowly coming together. How tough is it to come back from the injury like the one Mason had when everything, when obviously like everything from the base up is so important and getting that explosiveness off the line of scrimmage is for the defensive line? It's extreme, extremely important, especially from how I used to I'll be in the training room and I'll see how hard Mason working is to try to get his strength backed up and how uh, he's told that he's not gonna have all the strength in his right leg, but I feel like it's extremely hard to bounce back from something like that. But I see him, you know, he coping with it. What do you think the mental hurdle with that is? I mean, coming back from injury, getting back in with a group of guys, there's a lot of talent in that room. Um, for like Mason, yeah. I feel like I feel like he it's not a hurdle for him. I feel like he ain't thinking he got. I don't think he got bad thoughts in his head about his injury. I feel like all the thoughts that's coming out of his head is just straight positive. Do you think he's gotten that sort of explosiveness back, that, that first step that he had before the injury? Yeah, he still got that explosiveness, watching from pass rush, most definitely. Do you remember, like, seeing him in the locker room after that Florida State game or um, maybe even at halftime and what was maybe the emotions he was feeling? Yeah, I could tell just from just from the way he was walking, like how he felt, he looked like he was defeated from that injury and – Going into the locker room, you know, seeing him just watching us come in, like tall over his head, stuff like that. I could tell, like, I could, like, as if I can feel him, how sad he is right now, basically. What were the conversations like in the defensive line room that next week about how y'all were going to move forward without somebody who was so important or going, to, who was going to be so important to your team? Is that again? What were the conversations like in the defensive line room that next week, knowing you were going to have to move forward with someone who you expected to be really important so to your you, team? Yep, yeah, so we lost Mason Smith. So, of course, he was all in the D line room, like, oh, we lost Mason Smith, what now? But I feel like Makai took that as a stepping stone. He was able to step up to the challenge. And as the season went on, we got more, we placed more confidence in him. What, what would you say is the big, kind of the big picture vibe around the team compared to a year ago when there was so much uncertainty and so many um, position groups as well as having a new coaching staff? You know, how would you compare how you feel about kind of the stability of the program and the expectations of the program now compared to last year at this time? Uh, I can feel how determined the team now. Don't get me wrong, the team was definitely determined last year, but. This year, I feel the determination come from the team just based on how we practice and, you know, like the fight that happened, that just shows how passionate it is with it. And I feel like if you got, like, if you got, if you're passionate about the game and you're determined, then you go a long way with that. How much does also having the same coaching staff, for the most part, I mean, obviously defensive line change coaches, but how does having that, like, add, what does that add to this season? Does that add any sense of stability, or are you just used to coaching staff? Yeah, I feel like it does because it's not like we ain't got to deal with a whole new coaching system. So it's like we don't have to focus on building that relationship as much as if we had a whole new coaching system. Yeah, we definitely have depth there too. I would say we added on. We had a couple of freshmen like Jake.
What are y'all, when you're looking at what y'all might be able to do defensively with the front seven, is there anything that is different because of maybe having added depth that y'all might be able to do a little bit differently or better last, than last year? Uh, I feel like we'll definitely be able to go out a lot more, like give it our 100%, like 110%, because we know we got people that could back us up and can go in that we can trust. You mentioned them earlier a little bit, but you could expand on you know, Quincy and Deshaun behind you. Kind of what are you seeing out of them right now during camp? Uh, in camp right now, I could see that they're trying. I feel like they they slow, like they're getting it down technically, but like with the plays and all that, I like how they come to me and ask me about certain plays. So I, I that let me know how how determined it is and how serious they is about being able to like basically slow the game down for them. What kind of progress has Quincy made, especially since last season? He played play a ton last year, a little bit more of a raw player now, now heading into year two. Like, What kind of impact do you think he can make just through the progress he's made? I think he can make a um, huge impact um, playing for us because it's like the way he go about things, like say we in the um, – the meeting room and stuff, you'll see him jotting things down and all that. And I could see, I, like last year, he was doing it, but it wasn't like, you could just tell it got a huge difference from last year to this year. Anybody? Uh, anybody, any of the young offensive linemen catching your eye yet that you've got against? Uh, yeah, number 52. <laughs> The five star? Uh, Lance. Yeah, Lance. Lance. <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. I'm still learning everybody now. But I, de I definitely see the potential Lance has, and especially, um, you know, going like going against people like Makai Wingo, me, and Major Smith. I can like just from seeing the him going against us, I can see the potential he has. How often do you get? Have, have you guys gotten an update about Jimmy yet, or do you, or how often do you guys get updates for for Jimmy Lindsay and what's what he's going to uh, do? We we haven't got an update. We haven't got an update yet, but we made sure to keep him in our prayers.